Milestones of the Century. The 1952 Olympics opened in Helsinki, Finland, as yesteryear's great flying Finn, Pavo Nurmi, carried the sacred torch to light the 15th modern Olympiad flame. As competition began, towering Walt Davis got America off to a flying start by winning the high jump. Ken Weissner of the United States was second. Russia's Nina Romashkova broke the Olympic women's discus record to give her country its first gold medal. In the pole vault, Bob Richards topped 14 feet 11 inches for another American first. Jubilantly, he scrambled from the sawdust for some additional jumping without the pole. Uncle Sam's husky Cy Young tossed the javelin 242 feet for the first American victory ever in this event. In the marathon, 61 started in the grueling race. Running the marathon for the first time was Czechoslovakia's Emil Zatopek, who had already swept two distance races. The gritty Zatopek breezed to victory by half a mile. America's Bob Mathias, out to crack his own Olympic decathlon mark, won his heat in the 100-meter dash. In the pole vault, he picked up valuable points. Then Bob romped through the 110-meter hurdles to set a new record in capturing his second Olympic decathlon championship. America's Milton Campbell and Floyd Simmons completed the sweep. In the 3,000-meter steeplechase, a hurdle and water jump race rarely run in America, it was an American who pulled the upset, though Russia's Krasensev was the favorite. FBI man Horace Ashenfelder sprinted past his red rival to win and became the first American to take an Olympic distance race. Another upset followed in the women's 400-meter relay as the lightly regarded American team flashed to victory by a foot for the first gold medal to be taken by United States women. Happy? Take a look. The action switched to the Olympic pool, where the men's 400-meter freestyle event saw Francis Boiteau splash to a two-foot win over America's Cano. That's Boiteau's father jumping into the pool. It was worth getting wet to have an Olympic champion in the family. On the diving platform, Major Sammy Lee retained his 1948 Olympic championship and helped the United States pile up more points than any other nation. But more important was the Olympic spirit that brought isolated nations into open competition with the free world for the first time in 40 years. A milestone of hope in a troubled century.